Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for your basic Sorgonomics for this June 4th, 2015. Uh, just a program, you know, it will not be a Friday episode. We'll be taking the day off, taking it out of office. It is, it's really hard for me as an independent producer to take a day off. Uh, but uh, we'll be doing that and uh, uh, for a little bit of a wedding anniversary, 11 years, and uh, hope and have some fun there. So let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about uh, engagement is my topic for the day. Uh, something I've been thinking about a lot lately, actually. Um, uh, mostly because, uh, you know, I, I, I've, I've probably mentioned here on the show, I was interviewed several years ago for a, a podcasting book that I don't know ever came out. And I know, I know it was determined uh, at that point that as far as podcasting goes, uh, we've been one of the more engaging, one of the more social in social media. Um, it's not just a broadcasting conversation, as most do. We've always had a chat room all the way back to the AOL chat rooms. Uh, even now, as I'm doing this, this is really just a monologue for 10 minutes. And But I do have Periscope up live if it's applicable. Right. If it's a time of day to do that and, and people are watching and people are have already been chatting with me as I've been setting up for this this morning. And um, and then and that's how you have some interesting conversations start, even even as far as uh, I, I started uh, uh, Tuesday night. Um, I was down here and I was kind of keeping an eye on things just to see if some new hardware was going to play through for, through the rest of the night. And um, so I periscoped and said, hey, guys, what's going on? Any questions about podcasting? Any questions about anything else? I ended up talking video games with uh, with somebody, 8-Bit Villain, that was uh, joining us in there. And, uh, and, and 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 that's the kind of stuff I like is that 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 that, that new conversation. You know, uh, there was a, a one on Ask Gary V the other day about how to interact a little bit more on Instagram. And, and I worry that Instagram like I post a thing and kind of uh, wait for the likes to roll in and like, oh, cool. A lot of people are like, oh, cool. But they're all my friends. You know, uh, how, how do I reach out, out a little bit more? And my Instagram is not just like my personal stuff. My Instagram is also, you know, this stuff. Right. It's the production. It's the it's it, it's intended to be the visual story of what happens at Sorgatron Media, because me doing production things is the story of Sorgatron Media. And that's how I want to be kind of uh, represented, I guess. Right. And. Um, taking a look at that, what do you how do you kind of enhance that a little bit? Uh, and even trying to do the same, and, and, and it's such a pain because it just handling multiple accounts on Instagram is tough. Um, but one idea was, for instance, every time you get a follow, I mean, there's nowhere to really kind of note back, hey, thanks for a follow, or, or, or say something, right? I don't want, I want to say more than, hey, thanks for a follow. And uh, he says, well, just go in, go to their account, go to the last picture, and just say, hey, thanks for following me. And I, it is amazing how much you do get people somebody responded to me and said, Oh, Hey, yeah, just listen to your last podcast actually. And formerly from Pittsburgh, it's, uh, it, 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 it brings my memory back whenever you guys mentioned that you're from there and that's really cool. And now that is a whole new engagement. That's a whole new genuine thing. So I'm like, Hey man, awesome. Pittsburgh, you know, Pittsburgh represent or something like that. And, and now that person's going to have an even tighter connection with the podcast that, He's kind of spoken with you one on one in a comment uh, that raises it up. I mean, think about the people that you're into. Think about, you know, if if uh, you're a Tom Cruise fan, I don't know it's, if you're a Tom Cruise fan and uh, you're tweeting and he actually responds to you. We get this. I just got a uh, message uh, as we started this uh, four minutes ago uh, because the guys were killing it last night on, on Twitter. There's uh, uh, three people running our mayhem show Twitter because there were four wrestling shows on at the same time throughout the night so we want to cover them we want to get part of that conversation uh it, it's because it's a very exciting conversation and as we're doing that as the guys are covering like one guy's covering one show and our guy's covering another show as, as they go and i'm actually popping in and, and kind of uh commenting and poking some people uh poking some of the wrestlers poking you know you know they're mostly just talking about the show, commenting on it, and they're tagging the wrestlers, talking about the wrestlers, and the wrestlers will actually go and like it, retweet it, especially on this level. Like WWE, like we get it every once in a while with WWE, because um, they're the big wigs. They're definitely the big wigs in town when it comes to that. But on this level, people are more aware. We had on uh, Indie Mayhem show one of the guys from one of these shows last night in Ray Monroe, who was a guy that wrestled around here uh, several years ago for IWC that I worked for. Um, it's just, they're on that level. They're more accessible. They're paying attention. 
they don't have millions upon millions upon millions that uh, you're seeing with the w- with the John Cena's and in uh, the WWE people so much. So it's easier for them to oh hey somebody mentioned me I'm going to say hey hey thanks for say, thanks for such and such right um, you know even you know one of the guys from last night is saying you know I, I, uh, this guy likes my tweets I don't know this guy and I don't know how to pronounce his name I need to catch up with Ring of Honor myself but anyways uh, you know that's how are you going to find more engagement with, like that? Uh, and another thing I keep hearing, I keep hearing, I keep hearing, um, and I'm trying to do, I've actually been working on this for a while. I try to make a pass and I have emails coming to my email and I make sure I try to respond to every YouTube comment. And sometimes, and this is the interesting conversation too, sometimes you get get comments where there's not, there's the, you're like, well, what was this comment? This doesn't even apply to what we're talking about, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and and and, and this led to a conversation I had with somebody a couple of days ago. It says, well, you know, sometimes you may not get the fans that you want, but they're fans, and you should still address that and say hi and say thank you. And as long as it's not spam, <laughs> you know. As long as it's not spam, there's somebody, there's a, there's a person at the end or other end of that, and you should attempt to engage with them. I don't know how far that will go, but regardless, if there's somebody that's going to keep listening, there's somebody that's going to keep getting into your thing, you know, you should still reach out to them, I think, you know, maybe not spend a lot of time on it, but you should at least say hi, thanks, or, or put that thumbs up up there or something to 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 do that. You know, guys, remember, this is social media. This is not broadcast media. You know, I know I'm not getting anything, any traction out of my awesome cast account because that Twitter really, I think, is just I I am a subset of that. My opinion can come through this. I don't have a voice to that Twitter, but we have the conversations outside of it. You know, uh, people know myself or Chilla as the voices of that. And we engage otherwise, and we have a Facebook group that people are are are, are discussing tech, tech topics on, you know, much like we have a very very exciting wrestling mayhem show Facebook group, where that thing's active all the time, and all kinds of people are popping in, and it's very exciting, and 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 and, and it's very exciting to see people uh, come in there that are not part of the inner circle. <laughs> Because I get worried about that sometimes. I'm like, oh, we have so much engagement. And I look at, it, it's like these are all my friends. Now, granted. As we talked about before, all the people that are involved in that show started as fans and became good friends. But uh, but it's good to see new new faces, new names in there, and see that grow. Um, so I guess from this, uh, looking at what you're doing, is there something you can engage a little bit more? And if you're like, well, there's nobody to engage with, it's like, okay, who are you reaching out to? You know, even if somebody found your thing, started, it, liked it. I'm, I'm on Twitter trying to look at these people and, and, and if it's a company, again, if it's a company or, or, or it looks like a social media expert douchebag, no, I'm not going to pop in there and say, Hey, what's up? And a lot of these, and a lot, a lot of times it kind of, you, you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll figure out as you go, like, that's not somebody I want to engage with by looking at their Twitter profile, perhaps. But then again, some of those that, Digital marker, et cetera, et cetera. I usually try to steer clear because I'm like, well, why are you broadcasting to me when I'm a person that does similar to what you do? But I did get a nice DM conversation talking about the LinkedIn API problems uh, using Buffer and Hootsuite. And and so that's actually going to lead me to reach out to those kinds of people a little bit more. They also call me a digital media rock star. That always throws me a little bit. When I get something like that, but it's an old Pod Camp One reference. Anyways, rock stars. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. So also, I will not call myself ever. Try not to call myself a social media expert. I've been trying to play with ideas. Can I call myself a social? Uh, I can't call myself a social media tinker, perhaps. And that's probably still a little douchey too. Uh, but I, I I understand that I have a knowledge, and I do sit here on several days a week and expound that knowledge i guess in uh uh, podcasting video and social media uh but i just need a less douchey name to to call myself that will kind of uh tell that story but at that point uh let me know what you think what do you do in social media what are some interesting ways that you found to engage
about that? Are you are you answering the comments on your YouTubes or whatever you're posting? Do that at the very least. If you're getting any feedback whatsoever, you need to feedback to the feedback. Let them know you care. It's a very human thing to do. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.